Messi Flieg. Ja. Yep. Oh mein Gott. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day And every night, no time to lose One day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard And the topic for this vlog is testing the flame fist So let's get it, but before we get started Log goes out to all my subscribers Thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video So that's the device right here Here I have the tank, gas and battery power supplies and the flame fist itself with the control unit the valve and the grip and well the ignition system right here power cord and tube goes alongside my arm to my back where i will mount this whatever this is so there it is on my back and slips in just like that now i just need to fix this strap and then it's mounted on me Hell yeah. There it is. That's how it looks like. The wire and the tube are a bit too long as of now. But yeah. As you can see, it's a hand-free prototype. It's so convenient. I can grab stuff. I can do stuff. I can even hold my phone at the vlog. So convenient. The only thing that's not convenient is this rope right here because it is... <laughs> it's not feeling that pleasant. But anyways, enough said, let's get to actually testing it. I'm so excited, oh my god. So here we are in the lab and as I said in my last vlog, I currently do not have a safety, that means I can't access the menu. So I programmed a valve time of 200 milliseconds, that means the valve will open for two tenths of a second. So yeah, let's freaking try this. I also brought my tripod, so... Let's go. I previously used this A-frame, lit up a candle and stuff like that. I hopefully won't need this any longer. Let's hope the ignition system will work. I also got a very interesting idea from Hector again. If this is too close or too, I don't know, I could implement something like an air brake, a little mesh to kind of save the spark. But let's just try it as it is. Oh my God, this is actually possible. I thought I would need to take it off again. Yup, it's active. Yes, <laughs> very nice. Okay. okay. Now I just need to. <laughs> oh God. I need to be careful to not rip out the power. Okay, there it is. Just a bit of gas. Nope, there is a massive leak going. But it works. I can't believe it. It actually. Oh my god, massive leak. Yup. Massive leak. This is working though. It's just. Oh my god. This is absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? I need more, I think I need more cheater safe. Yeah, I need something weird. This is the best thing ever. It's crazy. It is absolutely freaking crazy. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, it is. It, I can't believe this. It's actually working. Okay, I still have a. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. <laughs> this is so freaking awesome. Okay, I will try my best to get everything tight because I need a good pressure build up because I think it will be way more spectacular. I will try my best and I will see in a bit. Okay, so bad news, because this thing is kind of broken. I don't know why, but it's it's dead. I was hoping for this section to be to be leaking, but actually this section right here is leaking like right here. It's stupid, so rip. So I need to resort to these things, but I found a good solution. Uh, the other leak was right here at the valve, so I glued in this part. 
<laughs> I might regret this, but probably not. So this should be tight. I, at least I hope so. This is tight. This is also tight. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but it's tight. And now the only thing that I need to figure out is how to connect these two. And I will probably just print something from here to all the way here. And then I will just glue it in. Screw it in, glue it in. So yeah, let's do this. So there's the part and there's the part in real life, the 3D printed part. If only it would focus on the on the actual thing. So yeah, 100% infill. Fairly sturdy bugger because I, you know, I put a lot of a lot of force with pliers onto this thing. And so that's done, glued in with epoxy, so this should be tight. Still have to wait a bit. Oh my god, and I also dropped this thing and I broke off the handle, so this is super stupid. But yeah, now I will put it back together and then test test the, the tightness. So yeah, I will see in a bit. Oh yes, massive progress, check this out. It's connected to the valve. It's connected to the, well, to the other valve, I guess. And now, well, there is gas inside. And if I open this up, can you hear this? Oh yes, this is awesome. It is tight, let's go. It's not going anywhere. The gas is in there, hell yeah. All right, we're back. To fix everything to actually way longer than expected. Uh, as always, the handle is on there thanks to duct tape, but it's, yeah, it should hold up for this last test. Power supply. Oh, God damn it. Okay, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. This should do. It's so. Yeah, there is a lot of pressure. Hmm. Oh my God. I need to take off this, this little thing right here, it's generating too much pressure. Ah, my god, why is this active? Freaking keeps shocking me. Okay, now it's getting dangerous because I have no idea how the gas will flow out of this valve now. Might burn my hand, let's hope for the best. Okay, I just went over to the right. Yeah, and when I just go like that, I need to kind of swipe through the gas to ignite it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so we're losing pressure. Turn it up again. Oh my god. This is kind of starting to hurt my hand. Oh my god, but I can't take it. Any other way, I guess. Oh my god, this is bad. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh my god. Ouch, this is kind of... Oh my god. This is not feeling right. Oh my god. Still having freaking ignition problems. God damn it. Oh my god. Where is it going? What the hell? It's like traveling. What? Okay, let's try this thing again. <laughs> I saw that coming. Double rip. Oh my god. Oh, wait a second. What's going on with the ignition? It looks to me like the ignition system has a problem. Yeah, this might actually use up a lot of battery power. That's sad. Yeah, maybe. 
어. 레드 e 트 e 스 100% 오케이 렛츠 리캡 what happened Damn, that was really interesting. So what I learned today after today's experiment, the tubing works, everything is tied to this, this massive, the ignition system worked initially, and I'm able to go mobile basically, so pretty freaking awesome. Now, the thing that I didn't learn was why didn't the gas get ignited the second time? Was it because of the ignition system or because of the high pressure? That's something that I need to figure out next time. And until then, I definitely need to come up with a better backpack tank thingy. It needs to be stable, it needs to fit two probably big tanks. And I also want to rework the battery solution because it's, this is no good, it's way too fragile. But other than that, that was actually a massive step in the right direction when it gets to this flame fist project. So yeah, next up is definitely a new tank, straps, strap on, whatever. And then I will also test the ignition system again. I will probably go with two 18560 batteries. This should last longer. Actually, before I call this a vlog, let's actually measure this battery. This, because this might be interesting. This will tell us exactly. Okay, so that's weird. That's weird. Seems like my theory is kind of wrong because there is still four volts in there. This is not close to empty whatsoever. Why? Why though? That's weird. Okay, so there is a problem with the ignition. Possibly with the module. I don't know about that. That I need to figure out. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I smashed this freaking handle when I <laughs> dropped the flame fist. Bang the bell like crap to never miss flame fist updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.